What's up everybody? Rowdy Riles here today with another action figure t review. Today we've got two Black Series figures. We've got the Imperial Probe Droid and we've got the Off-World Jawa. Uh, always love me some Black Series and Star Wars. That's my favorite thing. So let's get into it. So here we've got, we got the fronts of the box. we got the Off-World Jawa and we've got Star Wars The Empire Strikes Back Imperial Probe Droid from the 40th anniversary of Empire Strikes Back. Side of this box is D3. This one is number 96 in the red line. Uh, Off-world Jawa says, ships traveling to and from Tatooine have resulted in some Jawas leaving their desert homeworld. Those that do arrive on new planets continue their old habits in their new surroundings, but their obsessive need for technology still drives them. For the Imperial probe droid, it says... Commemorate the 40th anniversary of the Empire Strikes Back with the Imperial Probe Droid figure. Tenacious Hunters, Probe Droids are armed with powerful blasters. Not really much of a description, but yeah, alright. Let's get these bad boys open. So here we've got everything out of the box. We've got the Imperial Probe Droid right here. We've got the Off-World Jawa right here. Let's get a quick shot of those before we go over the quote-unquote articulation and quote-unquote accessories that come with these guys because there's really not much. So for accessories, this guy doesn't really come with much. He came with the base, which comes with two pieces, a play piece. And the snake piece that's at a ball joint at the bottom uh, came right out actually. So that was the accessories for him. Let's go over the articulation. We'll put that down for a second. Um, every single one of these arms moves, turns. Um, they all are on a different separate joint. So we've got articulation there. We've got articulation on the head. This little, I guess it's a cannon or a camera, one or the other. And this goes all the way around. Um, joints there, all the way around. This goes up and down. Up and down to the side. Not really too much on this guy. Um, it's more of a display piece. I mean, most of these are anyway, but you know, it's still cool. It was cheap. As you guys saw, the box was trash, so I got it for less than the retail was. So that's always great. So that's the Imperial Probe Droid. Let's go over to the side for a second. And let's go over the articulation on the Jawa. So his legs come all the way out. Don't really bend at the knees except for forward for some reason. They might be backwards. Um, legs up and down the feet, sorry. Ankles, not really. No movement really under the arms, just Barely 90 degrees, if that. <clears throat> and it is, it's just torn plastic under there. It doesn't have the skirt like the normal Jawa does. Um, here's one of the accessories. I put it in the holster. I don't really want to take it out. Um, and there's the other one. They're kind of blended busted. They all carry around. Um, nothing really with the torso. He does have waist swivel. Head turns 90 degrees. Doesn't really tilt forward or backward. Oh, not really much to the Jawa or the Imperial droid, so I decided to do them together. Um, so yeah, that's the articulation on this little guy. First size comparison here, we've got our Dagobah R2 next to the Imperial probe droid. We've also got that little, um, little zappy droid from A New Hope and the special edition Luke box set. And then next to the Jawa, we've got one of the original release Jawas from the Red Line box next to the Off World Jawa. So there's a couple of shots of all of them next to each other for scale. Um, the Imperial Probe Droid is obviously the biggest of the lot. He's a big boy. Um, so yeah, like.
So I would say for these guys overall, they are worth it because, you know, I wanted them. I got them for cheap, um, did them for retail mostly. Um, so they're totally worth it to me. Remember to like and subscribe, comment down below, and thanks for watching. Bye-bye.